Today we are going to make a slimming soup. Uh, I don't know that that's a really a good name for it, but that's what it's called on the recipe because it's really a healthy soup that will get your body working the way it should. At least that's what they say. So uh, we're gonna start out. I've got all the ingredients, I think, laid out here. And let's see, we're, we're gonna start with the tomato juice. Now we're gonna pour this whole can of tomato juice in there. And then we're gonna add, this is a big can of pinto beans. We're putting this big can of pinto beans in there. You can put a smaller can if you want. A lot of this is how you like it. And then we're going to put one can. Now this is the size bean that you would get, this size can. This is just diced tomatoes. We're going to put that in there. I'm going to stir that around a little. That's getting started. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna put it in yet, but this is seaweed. This is how it came. Two teaspoons, which is not very much, but when this is put water on it, melted, it comes down to almost nothing. So I've gotta let that soak a little bit. So we'll leave that there to soak. Okay, then we're gonna, I've already cleaned the garlic and Chopped it up and it's three teaspoons. Put that in there. Benefits of garlic has antiseptic abilities that afford yeast growth. Now I'm gonna put in the, the daikon. He's the granddaddy of it all. This, if without this, I don't think it would help you lose weight. I will tell you how later. Right now I'm gonna peel it. It calls for a half a cup of the daikon, and I'm going to put it in two pieces. I think this is all I'm going to need, but I might have to get more. It's a little more, but I'm going to put it in there. I've never used daikon before, never eaten it before, and I didn't know what it's like, but it's really good. Tastes like a very mild radish. Benefits of daikon, mild Japanese radish, contains digestive enzymes that break down fat, clear out toxins, and helps maintain a balance for friendly bacteria by inhibiting an overgrowth of yeast that crowds out the friendly bacteria and can cause toxic effects that impair fat burning. But it gives a little crunch to the, the soup. Okay, now mushrooms, a whole carton of mushrooms. But I'm gonna put them through this chopper because I want it in small pieces. Now you can cut these vegetables in any way you want. You can have big chunks, little chunks, long chunks, whatever. But I like my vegetables. I like it all in small pieces. Okay. Now we'll put in the eggplant. It calls for one eggplant. So I'm going to peel that. I think you could leave the peeling on there, but I like the peeling off. Okay, we're gonna put that whole eggplant in here now. Now 
then we're going to put a cup full of um, zucchini. This zucchini has been frozen. I've had it in my freezer. And I'm going to see if this will chop it. It's still kind of frozen. There's the zucchini. A lot of good stuff in here. And while I'm while I'm working here, I'll tell you, in about a week and a half, I've lost seven pounds by eating this once or twice a day. Sometimes I just ate it once. Sometimes I ate it twice. This is yellow squash. squash in. This is leek. This is leeks I've had frozen from my garden last year. And you can put in an onion instead of leeks. It calls for one large onion. But some of my family can't eat onions so I'm putting in leeks. small bell peppers that I raised last year, so they've been in the freezer also. The bell pepper in there now. And I think I'm through with this chomper. I think. Okay, now we're going to put in the the seaweed. I'm going to take it over here and pour the water off of it. I drain the sea, the water off the seaweed and you see there's not very much there. I <clears throat> just put that in there then. So we got our seaweed in there. This is parsley and cilantro from my garden and I, I'm I'm going to cut it up the best I can with the knife. Should be a half a cup of cilantro. It's the same of, same of uh, parsley, but I don't think I quite have that much, but it was so muddy for me to get in the garden this morning that I didn't get any more than this. Okay, I'm going to put the cilantro and parsley in there. Now, some spinach. A little bit of lettuce in here. This is also from my, my garden. And I'm going to cut that up. doesn't have to be cut up too much because it wilts down to just about anything anyway. Okay, into the pot we go. When I pick my spinach, I wash it, put it in a pot, cook it, cook it, season it, and eat it. <laughs> Whenever. I seldom get enough to, to freeze. Sometimes I do. I eat a lot of spinach when it's in season. My pot's almost full. Now we're going to put in the seasonings. I have to have my 
recipe here because I don't can't remember the amount. <laughs> that might help. <laughs> It calls for one half teaspoon of pink salt. That's all the salt that's in it. Of course, the tomatoes uh, are canned with salt. That's all the salt that is in it. And this is turmeric. And there's one teaspoon of that. One tablespoon of, of cumin. I love cumin. And one, just one teaspoon of olive oil. You would think there would be a lot more, but only one teaspoon of olive oil. That's it now. That's everything in here. So we're gonna give it a stir and then put it on the heat. See, it's all in there. Isn't it beautiful? We're gonna put it on high for right now until it, everything gets hot. And then we will let it cook for about an hour. We will check it often, stir it, Make sure it doesn't stick and uh, adjust the heat if we need to. And then we'll get back to you and show you the finished product and give you a taste. Okay, we forgot one thing, the lime. Got to put one lime in there. If you don't have fresh lime or if you can't squeeze it out like me, you can put in canned. And I'm going to stir it a little. Okay, we will come and stir this every few minutes to make sure it don't stick. about done. Um, I should have put in some beets. My beets are all big enough to pull in my garden and they're really good for you so I should have put some beets in this but I didn't. Next time I will. And I'm going to taste this now and see how, see how close to being done it is. A little hot. <laughs> Spicy. Oh, just a note. This is also a diuretic. And just want to warn you, don't eat it just before you go and fly a major airline. We're not naming any names, but you know who you are. This is pretty good. It's just a little spicy for me. So I may have to put some more something in it to tone it down. I may put some green beans. Um, with this batch, I'm going to divide it into meal size packages and freeze it. And I will eat a package each, each day, eat at least once a day, and sometimes twice. And it is satisfying. You're not craving something. Anyway, I'm... Um, I'm going, this is all for this time and I'll see you next time.